Morning guys, how are you all? So as you can probably hear, I'm still not better. In fact, I feel even worse today. Uh, body's aching, feel like shit. So I won't bore you to death with, <laughs> with uh, another day of illness anyway. But got a little package this morning, so I thought I would share it with you guys. And it is this, the HTC Desire 601. Now, John from Clove, who is a really great guy and also runs uh, Clove, has sent me this over. This is a loan unit, so this will be uh, returned. So a big thank you to John, because not only did he help me out using my Amazon affiliate link, which really did help me out, uh, spent a lot of money through that, but he's also sent me this out for a uh, loan review. So I won't be doing an unboxing on this one, because this is just a, a, a mid-range unit, but I will be doing a full review on this over the next couple of weeks. So a little bit of insider information for you guys. And this is actually a very, very nice phone for the price. And in addition to that, John has sent me out this, uh, he said he knows about my budget drive, so he sent me out a free jumper. How cool is that? Very, very nice hoodie. And just to show you the back, there you go. So you can check those guys out at clove.co.uk. And they actually sell uh, all of the handsets uh, SIM free. So all of the handsets that, that Clove sell aren't attached to any kind of contract or anything like that and their prices uh, are matched throughout um, the internet. So, fantastic company, fantastic prices, and also really looking forward to uh, bringing you guys my full review on the HTC Desire 601. You can see it kind of looks like the uh, HTC One. This is a brand new model, um, and I'm really quite excited to give it a go because there's a lot more interest in the mid-range units than there used to be and I don't feel that many people cover them off with much info so one of my aims this year is to cover off a lot more handsets that aren't the very top of the range ones for people that are on more of a budget or don't want to spend that kind of money on a phone so anyway I will be back with you once I can talk properly again which will probably be in a couple of hours so I forgot to say as well to you guys iOS uh, 7.1 came out yesterday and although I've actually preferred the uh, interface changes they've made in iOS 7 for all across all of the devices I've never known an Apple operating system to be so unstable that constant rebooting when you were just doing random stuff was absolutely insane and really should never have made its way into an Apple product that, that got released absolutely incredible that they allowed that to go into a product and to last for so long as well I mean iOS 7 has been out for quite a few months now and that problem has been for everyone for all of that time, which I think for a company like Apple is an absolute disgrace. So that seems to have gone away in iOS 7.1. They've introduced some new uh, interface changes again, which who really bloody cares? You know, a circle instead of a swipe, or you know, whatever it is, it's all bullshit changes, really. To be honest, I don't, I don't see the need to keep kind of tweaking it like that. If you're going to change it, then change it significantly. Don't bother making these stupid little changes that just are absolutely irrelevant. Um, that new green colour as well is a little bit annoying, I found. I preferred the sort of brighter previous one, but they flattened it out even more. But like I say, iOS 7 in general, I've been, I've been pretty pleased with. I like all of the new interface changes. Uh, a lot of it has been uh, much accepted, but so buggy. Wi-Fi issues, rebooting issues, weird bugs in the interface where certain things don't align and stuff. Um, really quite a terrible job, actually, by Apple. It seems that iOS 7 was a beta right the way through till 7.0.6 was it even I think we got up to and 7.1 sh should have really been what, what iOS 7 should have been so here's hoping that that's going to continue to be a lot better let me know about your experiences with iOS 7.1 down in the uh, comments for me it's been a lot snappier a lot smoother and uh, a lot more reliable so far but it's only been you know maybe 24 hours or something like that but so far uh, pretty pleased with that one so there's some leaks coming out now about iOS 8 so we're already kind of on to iOS 8 having only just got iOS 7 and there was a couple of new models of iPads in there where they said they might just be small uh, spec changes so that'll be interesting to see uh, what they do bring out with those new two iPads maybe they will be 256 gig or something like that uh, who knows we'll have to wait and see or maybe there'll be a whole new model um, although it didn't look that way but we'll have to wait and see about that one anyway that's my uh, vlog for today sorry again guys but trying to kind of work through 
Um, and BL is pretty shit. I'm, I'm not very good with uh, illnesses, so I need to um, take a glass of my own. Uh, man, the fuck up, really. Although man flu is specifically designed to uh, catch a man at his weakness, uh, at his weakest. So anyway, I will be back with you guys uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, feeling better. Peace.